Right, had a few YouTube videos of uh, sailing at Stanley and Port Sorrell and a few other places lately and I thought I'd do this one just on the gear that I am sailing at these places. So this is the trailer. Um, I've got six boards in here at the moment and uh, I thought I'd just run through the different boards. So pulling them out, we've got uh, 84 litre Sonic uh, 2020 model. I use it for foiling mainly. So I used to have an 86, used to use that on this board, but now foiling set up with the half straps at the back. Got some padding at the front. Uh, I find it really good, had a foil board, but I quite like the narrower tail. So on the sandbar, you can go pretty quick. And um, I think just that stance works well with uh, trying to go quick with the foil. So I've got three different foils for this board. Uh, a large one, 800 front wing, and then I've got the middle size with the 650 front wing, and then a small one, 560 front wing. So hoping to use it more with the smaller one. Uh, so that is the 83. Uh, then I've got uh, the 67. Still got the pin in it from last time I used it. Uh, again, 2020 uh, board. Absolutely fantastic board. So 67 wide, but 113 litres. So my weight, I'm about 92 kilo. Um, plenty of volume to float me, but narrow enough to go pretty quick down the run. So I'll use that with a 7, 8 and a 7. Even a 6, 2, if it's really gusty, I'll go out with a 6, 2. Uh, but need a, a floaty board, I'll use that board. But 7, 7, 8 mainly. Absolutely fantastic board, probably one of my favourite boards ever. That's 67. Uh, going down in size, uh, we've got the 63. So this is a 2021, uh, one year newer than the other two boards. And fantastic board. Uh, so a bit sinky if the wind drops out, but a gun of a board um, for sort of that lighter wind speed sailing where it's pretty windy but you're on the sandbar and want to go quick so 96 litres 63 wide I'd normally use that with a 7 so powered up 7 metre conditions done 40 knots on the um, 67 quite a few times and 40 on this as well so easily does 40 knots wasn't very windy last week and I had the seven up and doing 40 knots on this board. So really good. I use tribal weed speeds um, that was in the other board um, for a lot of the speed sailing with the two bigger boards. I just find that they keep the nose of the board in control when you're heading off the wind. So foot straps always, all boards, very back positions. Um, certainly for, the, for, the, for these boards, the latest speed boards that I'll bring out, I've just had the front straps one spot forward because I think that matches where they were in the in the other boards. But uh, yeah, 63, fantastic board. Now getting into the speed boards. Um, so this is the 52, 74 litres, uh, new board. So it's uh, 2024, full carbon, um, and I've used it two or three times, I think now, and fantastic board, love it. It's gonna be, it'll be my favorite sort of windy, um, not necessarily perfect conditions, but just when it's a bit hard, I'll be going on this board rather than anything smaller, and I'd use it with a 6.2 down. 6.2, I've got a 5.7 and a 5.2. Uh, so mainly with the 6.2, but 5.7 will be fine. Um, yeah, really great board. And uh, foot straps, back positions, uh, but not the front one, just one forward now. But that would be the equivalent to having them all back in the previous ones. Smaller uh, mast base track. I generally put the mast track always in the centre for all the boards and never change it. But if for whatever reason I want to give it a bit more lift in the front, I'll put the mast track back a bit. If uh, difficult conditions, choppy, not really speed sailing, might put it forward just a bit, a bit more pointing. 
So, beautiful board, really good. Can't wait to use that board. That'll be uh, my key sort of speed sailing board, I reckon. The most conditions. And then we've got the 45. So, 65 litres and 45 wide. So, again, 2024. So, these are the new speed boards. The 30. Um, used it once, found it really easy to get going, it was good. I had a 5.7 and it was pretty windy at Stanley, but it was going well. Uh, fantastic shape, just quite a bit of volume in the nose and all through the board. The previous speed boards I have been using were 44, like the Lunar, it's 44, and they were 53 litres. This is 45 wide and 65 litres. So quite a bit of volume for a narrow board. So again, I think the 52 and the 45, they'll be my sort of go-to speed boards. And if the conditions are easy sailing, where you can get off and it's not too deep, or you're not likely to get stuck anywhere, I'd be on the 45. If it's a bit trickier or a bit gustier, I'd be on the 52. So fantastic board. I've used that um, once and it was great. And then this one, which I couldn't really resist, um, is the 40. So the 40 wide, 55 litres. So it's actually got more volume than the Little Roots 44, um, but 40 wide. So again, put straps are all back, one forward in the in the front position. And uh, yeah, 2024. So not sure where I'll get to use that. If I get to Little Roots, definitely be taking that board. Uh, but we do get the conditions where this would be this would be okay. Stanley can be really good. Uh, if we get Henty ever working again properly, I think a board like this, we've just got a good long run um, and not too worried about um, getting washed out to sea or the wind dropping out. So looking forward to using that. So they're the, the boards in the quiver at the moment.